Now for our cherry blossoms, I'm going to use the nylon bristle brush. And the nylon bristle brush is not going to hold the paint or the water as well as the natural bris bristle brush, but it's going to give us a little ability to do some detail. So I'm going to get my nylon bristle brush completely saturated here, and I'm going to put my paint in my red violet. And I want to get that paint nice and soft. And then I'm going to roll my natural, or sorry, my nylon bristle brush in there to kind of loosen the paint and saturate my brush. Okay. Once I get that nicely saturated, then I can go back and I'm going to do a staggered pattern by holding my Sumier brush. I'm going to do a staggered pattern with that. I'm going to set my fist on the table like this, and I'm going to be able to carefully place each blossom. Okay, so here we go. And if you notice how I'm doing this, I'm pushing my brush down, then twisting it and pulling it back towards the branch to carefully connect it to the branch. Okay, um, so I'm going to continue doing that and I'm going to put on the rest of my blossoms here. And if you feel like your blossoms are too dark, you can suck out some of the moisture with your brush and blot it on your paper towel or if you want to you can carefully take a paper towel and kind of lay, just lay it flat swish your hand over the top and then peel it up and it'll kind of light, lighten up some of your colors you'll notice that the paint has been soaked up onto my paper towel there. Now I'm going to go back finish off my blossoms here. Okay, now I'm going to take my brush, wash it out really good, and this part's going to be hard. You need to make sure that your white paint is really clean, and if it's not clean, make sure you get clean, fresh water, and um, use a paper towel to even wipe out your little container, and get your clean, 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 fresh water to wipe out your white container. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to wipe out my white container. You can see it's a little contaminated with the pink, or sorry, the magenta e color. I'm going to get a lot of white and I'm going to just gently place a little bit of white on a few of these blossoms. 
Not a lot, just a little, and just ever so slightly. Okay, just a few of them. Then I'm gonna go back, clean my brush out really well, and get some black. I'm gonna go back into this black and just get a little bit of black and put black on a few of my blossoms. Just a dribble. Okay, and so here we have our finished Sumie painting. Um, so after this, make sure you wash your brushes out really well. Make sure you clean up your supplies really well. Put your correct bristle brushes back in the correct place. And there's our kind of cherry blossom Sumie painting.